we are looking at fetch ai on the daily time frame currently if you guys gain any value out of this video at all be sure to leave a like comment sub all that fun stuff helps channel grow also give it a share to fellow fet holders if you do gain value out of this also last thing before we get into it check out the discord link down below it gives you one of those little clicky buttons in the description makes it super easy so what's the worst case from joining other than that looking at fet so we're going to the 45 minute time frame. We'll start with the smaller time frame first. Right now you got like a symmetrical triangle. Should you end up getting it to play out? You get a measured move from breakout point. Let's say that's the breakout point of $2.63. Uh, your measure move gets you up to about $3.41, which from here is about 25%. Now, even if you get up to there, there is a chance that you could just be a bit higher, come back down. If you end up having that happen, more likely than not, you pretty much retest the lows and then... It's just going to be an overall larger consolidation before you get another impulse uh, move towards the upside. Now, that is your shorter time frame. Um, <clears throat> furthering from here, we're on the daily. You know what? We're even going to go to the weekly here. Oops. So, oh, yeah. I'm going to also mention two other things after this. But so... Weekly time frame, what you can see right here is we do have a trend-based fib. So I didn't even realize that. If you end up coming back on down, I guess we'll just go over this first. You're going to be looking at two different areas. If you don't end up making the new high first, this is what I'm talking about. If you end up just coming back down lower, you're going to be looking for our zone right here, which is about $2.02 .02 to $1.94. Following from there, you may be looking at between about 147 to 151. I, I wouldn't really anticipate too much lower than that. Uh, even like that would be the absolute low. I'd, I wouldn't really imagine anything lower than our first zone, to be quite honest. But that being said, overall, next zones, since we don't have any price history behind this, we're using our trend based fib. Clearly, it's self evident that it, um, it is somewhat reliable that we stopped at this 2618. So the following fib level from here is actually going to be the 3618 which gets you up to about $4.36 from where we are right now. That puts you up about 62%. The following FIB level is your 4236, which is at about $5.09, which is about 89%, and 4618, which is at about $5.55, which is about 106% from here. So um, deal with this as you will. None of this is financial advice, of course. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.